special. You can view it on YouTube. You can capture a glimpse of Little Sherm's arrogance and desire to engage in showboating. Most made men, rather than risk the potential fallout that could come their way from engaging reporters, prefer to maintain their silence. Weddell Sherm, on the other hand, enjoyed toying with the press and basking in the attention. You know, PFP Publishing is a channel just run by a dude named Mundo, and he's, for, he's ex uh, Mexican Mafia, man. I think he was um, a brother, I think he was a carnal. He, and then he uh, became an informant, but he has an interesting story, man, because he knows all of these top guys. He was, you know, involved back in the 70s, you know, so he, he knows what it is. He definitely knows what it is. And another thing is, man, Serenios, one thing about it is they get universal respect because they got structure, man. You know, one thing about them, they hold, they hold it down. And I think that's something that everybody knows. And the Mexican Mafia... Like I said, it's like they got their own senate. Like, the street gangs got their own senators. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. And it's like, the level of structure and organization is like, it's crazy. You know, they really could do something powerful with that influence. If they can get, if the Mexican mafia can get the Serenios to do whatever they tell them to do, they could do something crazier than that. Something, they can use that. But, I mean, if they can do that to get money while they're in prison, Whatever they could, they can mobilize that power for something much more important, from my perspective. But hey, I understand this is a prison gang. You know, most of the dudes in it are doing life. So, all I'm saying is, I'm all for guys like PFP Publishing Mundo speaking on his former experience because you know, at the end of the day, that's a young man's game. You know, if you're in prison, that's a different story. You're kind of married to the game at that point. But if you're on the streets. That, that's a young man's game. That's something you go through as a young man and you mature out of it. That's why a lot of times in prison, these guys, 20, 30 years later into their sentence, they look back and say, man, I'm so sorry that I was that stupid. I should have done this. Because by then, they've taken classes, they've got degrees, they've learned all these skills, they've gotten to know themselves. So it's like, don't go to prison at 18 and then have to mature when you get in your 40s. And then you finally realize what life's about. Peace. And like I said, man, he's cool, man. A lot of people don't like him, but he got a lot of, a lot of information. You know what I mean? Because he was there. So you can't take that from him, man. Like, hey.